What is going on my Super Sandwiches, Romps are here and today I want to talk about some Dragon Ball Z rumors in E3 because E3 is getting ready to come up in the middle of June and I saw a bunch of stuff popping up recently and I kind of want to address everything. So first things first, I'll just tell you at the beginning of the video, there is no plans for any new Dragon Ball Z announcement at E3 this summer. Um, as much as I wish there was, there's just nothing planned. I mean, Xenoverse was the major announcement last year at E3 and that kind of was a big campaign up until February when the game came out. But as of right now, they're still working on Xenoverse. Like they're uh, fixing bugs, they're working on DLC which isn't done yet. Like there's still a lot of work to do with Xenoverse. And there just hasn't been any time to even plan in terms of Xenoverse 2 stuff yet. Um, fingers crossed, based on how well or fast they work, we might get Xenoverse 2 information at E3 or 2016. But this year, it's just way too soon, so don't expect any of that. The next rumor I want to kind of discuss is Zenkai Battle Royale, and a lot of people think that that's going to get announced this summer as well. And as much as I hate to say it, it it's not. I really wish. Because look at the gameplay in the background. It looks absolutely awesome. Each character is super unique. Like, look at Janimba. Janimba looks absolutely amazing if they, if they already showed him in the video or not. Uh, just The game looks a lot of fun, and I just really want to play it. But again, there's just no plans for Zenkai Battle Royale to hit consoles yet, because I feel like Bananako Japan still doesn't know what they want to do with it. Uh, currently, all Zenkai is, it's just a PvP game uh, at the arcades where you pop in a token and then you fight people around you. Like, there's no actual modes for it or anything. It's just literally uh, pop in a token and then you fight the people around you. Uh, whenever they figure out what they want to do with it or they decide to release it on consoles, I will let you guys know. But as of right now, all we can do is dream. All we can do is dream. Matter of fact, who here wants Zenkai Battle Royale? Let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like. like let's see the hype around this game because I feel like not that many people would actually want it because it's not exactly a fully built out Dragon Ball Z game like Xenoverse was or previous DBZ games. If anything, um, Zenkai Battle Royale is more of an arcade game or I guess what I like to call the Dragon Ball Z version of J-Stars where it's fun to play but it's not that complex. But I wonder what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below, leave a like and then we'll just take it from there. Now the next rumor I want to address is ba uh, Budokai Tank HD 3 HD. Uh, if, if you have no clue what I'm talking about, a couple months ago, uh, Thundershot and I got a chance to talk to some guys at Bananako about it, and we pitched the idea of reviving that game, but as of right now, there's still no updates about it. Uh, I know literally nothing about it. I'm not hiding anything. I have no clue what's going on about it. But I do know that there is no plans to announce that yet either, if that's happening. I mean, I don't even know what's happening in the first place. Uh, but at E3, I definitely know that there's going to be nothing said about it, so don't expect that to be a surprise or anything. Uh, again, I wish there was, but there's no news about that uh, as of right now. Now, finally, uh, the only game that they might talk about is Super Butoden, which is the new Dragon Ball Z game for the 3DS that was just announced in Japan only a couple months ago. But as of right now, I feel like that's also too soon to discuss because uh, we still don't even know that's coming out in the U.S. or the rest of the world. Because as of right now, Super Butoden 3 is only announced in Japan, and uh, I feel like it's too soon to be talking about that game as well in terms of releasing it here in the States and the rest of the world. If anything, we might get information about Super Botoden at like Anime Expo because I know they have a bunch of announcements for Bandai Namco anime games around then. But I feel like E3 just isn't the right event to announce a 3DS game. If anything, I feel like Bandai Namco is only going to be focusing on The Witcher 3, which is their next big project. And then uh, in terms of anime games, maybe uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors and Naruto, which is coming out later this summer or early fall, which if anything, Storm 4 should be the bigger focus for E3 in terms of anime games for Bananamco. But again, uh, no big news in regards to Dragon Ball Z games. As much as I hate to say it and, and I wish that you know there was, it's just the timing just doesn't make any sense. But of course, I mean, again, I want to kind of put this video out there just so you guys know, so no one you know builds up all this hype and expectation and then all of a sudden nothing gets announced and everyone's disappointed. But as soon as I find out more information, I will let you guys know, so make sure you stay tuned, subscribe if you're new to this channel, and I'll keep you guys updated the second I find out stuff myself. But that's pretty much it. So um, let me know your thoughts and feedbacks in the comment section below if there's anything you want to say. Of course, leave a like rating below if you enjoyed today's video. And other than that, as always, my name is Ramstar. You guys enjoy the rest of the day, and I'll see all your awesome super sandwiches in the comment section below. Also, I might go to E3, so expect uh, some updates ar around that. But... Uh, again, that really depends, and I don't really know because it's still way too early to, to figure out. But uh, I'll let you guys know. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, enjoy the rest of the day, and I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.